to my channel. Yay! That was sad. But anywho, if you didn't check out my last video, yeah, um, I introduced a new book to my channel. I introduced two new books to my channel, and today we're going to talk about the other one. The other one is Wreck This Journal. So I'm just going to talk just a little bit about it before we get into actually doing a page in this book and really looking at it and whatnot. But if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel so you become a paint blob in our paint palette family. Thank you so much for joining the paint palette. Um, so let's talk about this. So the reason I got another wreck this journal um, is because this time I actually want to wreck the journal i actually do want to wreck it i want to make it look terrible i want to completely destroy the book this time but that's really stepping out of my comfort zone because if you have been watching and you have been with me for quite a while you know that i do not like wrecking the book i like creating and making art so wrecking this is really stepping out of my comfort zone i'm a little scared scared about it to be honest guys I'm scared I, it just doesn't feel right to me to wreck it but I thought and I, when I first got it I was like did I really want to wreck it nah I'm actually gonna turn it into an art thing but then I'm like Kara you've made a million in art books it's gonna be so much more interesting if you go across all these art books and then boom you pick up this one and it's a completely different person that made this so I am gonna wreck it. But, 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 one thing. On every single page, there will be something for you to look at. So I am gonna wreck it. I am gonna try and destroy it. I'm gonna make sure it doesn't look as nice as it does now. So I am gonna try and destroy it. But I want every single page to have something that you can look at so like this one it says put strands of hair in on this page so i'm not just gonna stick some hair in there and then call it done i'm gonna try and make it look a little bit more artistic but i am gonna wreck it a lot a lot a lot harder than i did in the other wreck this journal so I am wrecking it, but I'm also making sure that on every single page there is something for you to look at. So it's still like a nice, memorable thing that you can flip back and look in. So yeah, now let's finally go through the book and look at a few things in the book. And I do kind of say something that's kind of strange. This book is so much heavier than my last Wreck This Journal. And my, my last, hmm, the Wreck This Journal that I'm using now is fat and it is fat full of art and this is heavier than that i don't know why this one's heavier maybe because of the color maybe because of the cover i really don't know but this is a lot heavier than all the other prompt books but i must say i really like the design i really like the cover it's so interesting and nice and it I feel like it looks really cool. And if you don't know the author of Wreck This Journal, if you haven't been watching my videos, rude. But the author is Carrie Smith. <laughs> okay, now let's finally take a closer look into this one. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Yay! That was sad. But anywho, if you didn't check out my last video. Yeah, um, I introduced a new book to my channel. I introduced two new books to my channel. And today we're going to talk about the other one. The other one is Wreck This Journal. So I'm just going to talk just a little bit about it before we get into actually doing a page in this book and really looking at it and whatnot. But if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel so you become a paint blob in our paint palette family. Thank you so much for joining the paint palette. Um, so let's talk about this. So the reason I got another wreck this journal um, is because this time I actually want to wreck 
the journal. I actually do want to wreck it. I want to make it look terrible. I want to completely destroy the book this time. But that's really stepping out of my comfort zone. Because if you have been watching and you have been with me for quite a while, you know that I do not like wrecking the book. I like creating and making art. So wrecking this is really stepping out of my comfort zone. I'm a little scared about it, to be honest, guys. I'm scared. I, it just doesn't feel right to me to wreck it. But I thought, and I, when I first got it, I was like, do I really want to wreck it? Nah, I'm actually going to turn it into an art thing. But then I'm like, Kara, you've made a million art books. It's going to be so much more interesting if you go across all these art books and then boom, you pick up this one and it's a completely different person that made this. So I am going to wreck it. But, 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 one thing. On every single page, there will be something for you to look at. So I am going to wreck it. I am going to try and destroy it. I'm going to make sure it doesn't look as nice as it does now. So I am going to try and destroy it. But I want every single page to have something that you can look at. So like this one. It says, put strands of hair in on this page so i'm not just gonna stick some hair in there and then call it done i'm gonna try and make it look a little bit more artistic but i am gonna wreck it a lot lot a lot harder than i did in the other wreck this journal so i am wrecking it but i'm also making sure that on every single page there is something for you to look at so it's still like a nice memorable thing that you can flip back and look in so yeah, now let's finally go through the book and look at a few things in the book. And I do kind of say something that's kind of strange. This book is so much heavier than my last Rick This Journal. And my, my last, hmm, the Rick This Journal that I'm using now is fat and it is full of art. And this is heavier than that. I don't know why this one's heavier. Maybe because of the color, maybe because of the cover. I really don't know, but this is a lot heavier than all the other prompt books but i must say i really like the design i really like the cover it's so interesting and nice and it, i feel like it looks really cool and if you don't know the author of wreck this journal if you haven't been watching my videos rude but the author is carrie smith <laughs> okay now let's finally take a closer look into this one Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Yay! Tell me sad. But anywho, if you didn't check out my last video, yeah, um, I introduced a new book to my channel. I introduced two new books to my channel, and today we're going to talk about the other one. The other one is Wreck This Journal. So I'm just going to talk just a little bit about it before we get into actually doing a page in this book and really looking at it and whatnot. But if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel so you become a paint blob in our paint palette family. Thank you so much for joining the paint palette. Um, so let's talk about this. So the reason I got another wreck this journal... Um, it's because this time I actually want to wreck the journal. I actually do want to wreck it. I want to make it look terrible. I want to completely destroy the book this time. But that's really stepping out of my comfort zone. Because if you have been watching and you have been with me for quite a while, you know that I do not like wrecking the book. I like creating and making art. So wrecking this is really stepping out of my comfort zone. I'm a little scared about it, to be honest, guys. I'm scared. I, it just doesn't feel right to me to wreck it. But I thought, and I, when I first got it, I was like, 
do I really want to make it? Nah, I'm actually going to turn it into an art thing. But then I'm like, Kara, you've made a million in art books. It's going to be so much more interesting if you go across all these art books and then boom, you pick up this one and it's a completely different person that made this. So I am going to wreck it. But, 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 one thing. On every single page, there will be something for you to look at. So I am going to wreck it. I am going to try and destroy it. I'm going to make sure it doesn't look as nice as it does now. So I am going to try and destroy it. But I want every single page to have something that you can look at. So like this one. It says, put strands of hair in on this page so i'm not just gonna stick some hair in there and then call it done i'm gonna try and make it look a little bit more artistic but i am gonna wreck it a lot a lot a lot harder than i did in the other wreck this journal so i am wrecking it but i'm also making sure that on every single page there is something for you to look at so it's still like a nice memorable thing that you can flip back and look in so yeah, now let's finally go through the book and look at a few things in the book. And I do kind of say something that's kind of strange. This book is so much heavier than my last Rectus Journal. And my, my last, hmm, the Rectus Journal that I'm using now is fat and it is full of art. And this is heavier than that. I don't know why this one's heavier. Maybe because of the color, maybe because of the cover. I really don't know, but this is a lot heavier than all the other prom books but i must say i really like the design i really like the cover it's so interesting and nice and it, i feel like it looks really cool and if you don't know the author of wreck this journal if you haven't been watching my videos rude but the author is carrie smith <laughs> okay now let's finally take a closer look into this one Okay, here it is. So it says ink color. So if we first open it, we have Rick this journal. Um, to create is to decorate now in color, Carrie Smith, and then that. So then on this side, um, we actually are going to be doing a prompt in this book today, but first we're going to go through it like I did in the other one. So we have all of these name things all along there. Then you open it up and we have all this new stuff that was definitely not in the old breakfast journal. So we have like poke holes and place mud here and dip this corner into color and rub with dirt here and hide behind it and this is all very different and i've been looking through the book more and more and more and there's so many new prompts in here that are not in the old book moving along so we have again the same warning page then there's a whole bunch of this instructions kind of thing if you want to read it oh boy uh you can pause and read it if you like Here's another one. Pause and read it if you like. And another page, pause and read it if you like. So then we get down to this one over here. And the reason I got this one, because in the instructions it even says over here, do not try to make something pretty. Pretty is a bit boring. That's why I exactly got this book, because even the author doesn't want you to make something look nice so that's why i purposely got this one and also with the nice fun colors it'll make it a little bit more interesting and then we have the normal instructions and then something new if we go to the back of the book we have all of this stuff again so we have this thing here and then you open it and we have even more stuff so we have draw a face here um what else is here cut at a male Oh, mail this. What else do we have here? Hide the journal. Uh, cut out these things and follow one of them. So, yeah, there's also the back thing. And then there's all her books that she sells. Um, I only have the This Is Not A Book, the Wreck This Journal, and this Wreck This Journal now. Um, I was trying to get, like, this one, or this one, or this one even, but I wasn't really too interested in them. But, yeah, if you want to check them out, if you want to go get any of her books, nothing's stopping you. And then at the back, we have all the people that made the book. Again, if you want to read, 
And then we have some sheets of colored paper here at the back. And, and I've been looking through the book and so many of the prompts say, use the colored paper at the back of the book. Tear some of the colored paper at the back of the book and put it in the book and all that kind of stuff. And the last instruction is really weird. It's the write a list of more ways to wreck this journal. Use color as a tool. Do them now. And the other weird thing is this one, which I thought was so funny. Fill in these shapes with color. And then at the bottom it says, if it looks pretty, please destroy. <laughs> okay, let's look through another other ones. Close your eyes and connect the dots from memory. So loads of them are the same, but there are a few new ones in here. So random items grocery list so this one this one's new cut up tiny pieces and glue them here that's not in the old journal what else we got in here this page destroyed my other journal when i do a final flip through i'm definitely going to complain about this page in my other journal so if i do this which i am i'm definitely going to figure out a smarter way oh destroyed my book and then this one I don't understand because it says gum and poop and, you know, this is the page that you make it look terrible, but it's pink. It's pink or at least favorite color. <laughs> okay, anyhow, and then we move along, move along, move along. There is something in the beginning in the instructions that says somewhere that the prompt that scares people the most is crack the spine. And I thought that was so interesting because the one that scared me the most is the bug one. Ugh. I actually did put bugs in my book, but that's the one that scared me the most. And the one that scared people the most was this one. Crack the spine. This is the one that scared people the most. I thought it was so funny. So this is the prompt that we're going to be doing today. We're gonna crack the spine. And then off camera, I'll do the number page because that is really, really, really boring. Not fun. I hated it the first time I do it, did it. And I'm gonna hate it the second time I do it. But you, ooh, here's a new page. Color this page red on purpose. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna do this page off camera. And I'm going to do crack the spine on camera. And I'm also going to decorate it. So this is the page that apparently scared people the most. And I don't know. I just think that's so interesting to me. Oh, here's a new page. Okay, let's go to kind of in the middle and crack this bone. It doesn't scare me. I don't mind it. See, you just like... In the book, it's gonna happen naturally, so but now we're doing it on purpose. This really, I don't really mind this. The one that scared me was the bug one. Oh, that one was terrible. Okay, there we go. I cracked it, I definitely did. I definitely did. So, yeah, I'm just gonna decorate. Where is it? I'm gonna decorate. Keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. Not that page. This page. So again, since I am not making this page super, making the book super artistic, I'm just going to do a simple little design on it. Um, so there's something for you to look at. And then this one, I'm also going to do, I'm also going to do this, uh, this stuff. I don't know. I'll see what I'll do about those. And then I also want to put something, like a few splashes of color over these pages. Or so it's gonna be so hard because I, I have so many creative ideas for all of these prompts and now I'll have to like not be creative and oh uh, it's oh I'm not gonna look forward to not being creative on all of those prompts but I'll do it okay now finally let's add a little something to this page yeah. Fools like them, they suss me out and then they ghost. Girls like me, I like a magnet to a nun. Can I be light up from the ocean? I send them my devotion and show them my thoughts. Fools like them, they suss me out and then they ghost. I'm
I did a lot of pages today. I was just like feeling it and yeah, but I haven't really done any proper proper prom prompts besides from the edges one. So this is it. So let's look at the edges. So this is the top one. No, let's look at the bottom one first. So this is the bottom one. It's green, or turquoisey greeny, and it says hello. Then the side is just pink, and then the top says bye, 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 and it's yellow. <laughs> and the side, and the bottom. That one was really bad, okay. Um, and then the prompt for that one is over here. It's just being mean. There it is. So guys, I know I was a little artistic today. I really was artistic and I do apologize. But I did say that I was going to make sure that on every single page you will see something. So this is not being artistic. Like if I was trying to be really artistic, I would have drawn like a book and then drawn the cover. Or I would have done something fancy like that. But I just did this. I just showed the colors and did what was on the edges of the pages. And then I just wrote the dates. So this is kind of what it's going to look like on the pages. So I am going to still have something on there so you can look at. So when you're flipping, so when I'm flipping through the book, there is something for you to look at, but they're not going to be amazing and incredible because in the end, hopefully this book will look wrecked. Now at the beginning, I did quite a lot of the beginning. So let's go through. So the first page, so you know, yeah, they would have all those prompts that it must rub and dirt and put this, corner in substance and you can hide behind the book when you want some privacy i completely got rid of those i thought those were stupid i i don't know not stupid yes i can see where the author was going with it but i didn't want to do them so i just erased them they're still at the back the ones at the back are still there so maybe i'll do these ones but the ones at the front i completely covered up so i used the paper in the book they give you a lot of pages so i did use the paper in the book and uh yeah so i just decorated that and then i kept the name thing so i wrote everything down that it said i must so yeah and then i did a little rippy edge there because if you look closely they are ripped there, so I thought it would give it some character or so. And I really like how this page looks. I think it looks so cool for the beginning. Like, you just open the book and this is what you see. And I really do like that. And then I didn't do anything to this page. Then we go along. And I just scribbled there. And I scribbled there. Guys, when we're doing this series, this is going to be the worst work ever. I'm not going to do anything fancy. This is not where I'm going to be showing my creativity. Even in my prompt books, that's not my best drawing. In my prompt books, I'm kind of just having fun. In my creative book, in my recreational, that's not my best work in any of those. Those are just me having a nice good time, just relaxing. When I'm trying my best, you will notice. <laughs> But in this book, it's going to be even worse than those. This is going to be terrible. So I just took these two nice colors. I took purple and blue. And they look nice together. And I just put them over there. And then the warning little thing here. I have this turquoise and this pink there. Next page. I just took all the cool colors. And I did that. Then all these I did nothing on. Then the instructions page. I took the warm colors. And I did that. And then... Oh, gosh. I can't hold the book. And then, the, and then on the materials page, I just did that. On the number page, I just wrote the numbers. And I did put numbers on all the pages. Uh, the number I got up to is 
I got up to 194. Let's actually go check in my Wreck This Journal what page I got to. Look how fat she is. <laughs> She's almost done. I actually, I worked on, where is it? There it is. So this one, I'm busy working on this one. I've, um, the leaves and the flowers are bit being, are busy being pressed over there. So, yeah. Oh yeah, I still gotta do this one where I say when I do the finish. So this one I got to 194, and in this book I forgot the number already. I think it was this one I got to 194. So they are exactly the same, but that doesn't make sense to me because there are so many more new prompts in this book than they are in this one. So I don't know how they're the same, but look at the size difference. <laughs> this one's so much smaller. And this is heavy, guys. I don't know why. But anywho, and then finally, so then what? This one, the numbers page, and then the one that I did the most creativity on is this one. I, I can't believe this fit in the book. I didn't even measure it or anything. I was kind of just playing around, and it fit. Fits in the book. I didn't have to cut it in anything, and I really like how it looks. And then I just wrote there, cause you know, on every single prompt in any single one of my prompt books, I always write that down. The first page I did, I always write it down um, there. And then this side, I just did lightning, so a cloud, and we have lightning coming up. This page is pretty creative. So sorry, I was just in a creative mood, and I just wanted to go wild. And then I also wrote the date there. At the top. That it's not the twelve. Did I seriously write twelve everywhere? Please tell me I did not. Cause it is nowhere near the twelve. Okay, there. I write the sixteenth here. Oof. Why? Why in the world would I write twelve? Sixteen. There we go. There's the right date. Anywho, dee -dee. so y'all, I did do a lot of pages in this book, but I did all the main pages in the front. So now that all the main pages are in the front look nice and the edges and all that stuff looks okay, then we can finally get into some proper prompts as this, what's it called? As this series continues so stay tuned to episode two or whatever to see me actually doing some prompts in this book and i cannot wait for this series to go on of course i'm not gonna leave this one behind i'm still gonna finish it i'm still gonna do the final flip through i'm still gonna work on this one and all the other ones i have i'm not replacing this one this one's my little baby and i would never replace this one so stay tuned for the next episode of this one and this one anywho bye guys thank you for watching